uh, record button on. Um, so do you remember when you were first diagnosed? Um, I remember doing the testing. I don't really remember the actual diagnosis part, really. I remember going through all the different tests where they asked a whole bunch of, to me, dumb questions. And then there was ones where they wanted you to do simple tasks mm-hmm. in a room where there was all these toys. And so I'd always just leave the task and go play with the toys. I remember, I remember things like that out of it. I don't remember specifically really, like, my diagnosis or anything. What was, um, what did you have the hardest time, uh, doing in school? Like, what subjects? Um, I mean, English was hard just because my reading speed was, was slow. Mm -hmm. Um, and then math, math, upper level math became hard. Like, like normal, just everyday math was, was fine, mm-hmm. but when I got to upper level math, it became harder because um, since my brain's wired differently, mm-hmm. and I I don't attack math equations in evidently the proper way. Mm-hmm. So the calculus was incredibly hard because I didn't I didn't do well deriving um, equations back and forth. What about um, has it affected your um, career at all? Your job? Um, I try and compensate for it, but there are definite times when, um, um, since I do research, there's a lot of times where if I have an equation or a formula that I need to do, Mm -hmm. I check it three, four, and five times because I know that I'm, I've probably messed it up somewhere along the way. (laughs) So I'm just super, super careful about making sure, checking my math over and over and over again. Yeah. And how do you how do you check it? Like, is there a special way you check it? Um. So I'll, I'll write out I'll write out like the in longhand the longhand of the equation, mm-hmm. and then I'll do the equation in reverse and see whether I get the same stuff out again. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's equation wise. Some of the writings, like the writing stuff, I don't. Since I'm since I do biology, at the the biology writing is, it's not a creative writing thing. Mm-hmm. So short, simple, choppy sentences that are very kind of, uh, I'd say very structured sentences, they are acceptable. So mm-hmm. in that way, my writing isn't bad, but I, I still struggle writing. Mm-hmm. So like my papers and everything, I get edited by multiple people. What about, uh, do you remember having, <clears throat> excuse me, do you remember having uh, trouble making friends in school or no? No, I mean, for me, that was kind of the only thing I was good at was talking <laughs> and being friendly to people mm-hmm. in sports. So that was kind of how I, I overcompensated for my inability to read really was if I was friends with everyone, they wouldn't make fun of me, so I learned how to make friends kind of early. Mm-hmm. How did, um, do you remember how, if your parents struggled with you or at any times? Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they definitely did. I mean, my, I, I've said multiple times to my mom, you know, she's a saint for fighting with me mm-hmm. constantly to get homework done, to, when I wanted to give up and say I'm just not smart enough she'd be like no you can do this you just have to try mm-hmm. so I mean I, I I very distinctly remember multiple times like huge fights with both my parents but mainly my mom like forcing me to get work done and then I mean it wasn't that I was dumb it was just it took me extra long to get everything so who um who would you say you were closer to back in those days your mom or your dad Probably my mom, because my mom, I mean, as I said, my mom would sit and do do all my homework with me. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess that's more of a mom thing anyways. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and my dad, my dad traveled for work, so. He was kind of I mean, gone. Yeah. Yeah. How, um, how is your LD affecting your, um, your marriage? I mean, have you had any problems with that or no? 
No, I mean, I don't... Like forgetting things or telling your wife you're going to do something and then you forget to do it or something like that? I have a very understanding wife. <laughs> and, and, and so, I mean, she, she knew, like I was, I was open and honest and we dated for long enough and we were around each other enough that she... She knew what she was getting into. She knew she was getting into and then also, I mean, with... With all those new smartphones, yeah. With with all the integration of everything, mm -hmm. social media, everything gets integrated so much that I, I have checklists. I can get text messages. My phone beeps at me. My computer beeps at me. So it kind of keeps me more on task. Things we didn't have when we were kids. Yeah, and I mean because I don't know if you remember, but I tried like doing homework assignments on like a Palm Pilot for a long time. <laughs> yeah. But, but it always took so long to enter stuff into the Palm Pilot that mm. it became just annoying and, and I never used it. But mm. like with, with all the different integration of everything, I've gotten better at, I've gotten better at not forgetting things, but I still definitely forget. I mean. What, what's your, what do you have, what do you forget most? Just in general. Um, if something's said in passing, mm -hmm. like... Short-term memory. Short-term memory, or it's like, I really do mean to do something at the time I say it, but when I'm done with that task, or I'm not... If it's not involved in what I'm doing after that, I just forget about it. Mm -hmm. Which is the Which is the ADHD side of my disability. Well, I would, um, I would love to talk to your, uh, interview your wife one day and take her point of view, <laughs> if that would be okay with you. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's fine with me. The, the only problem is trying to find her on a day. Yeah. Uh, we have to, so for her, we sched, she schedules everything really, really far out. Because she, she has actually very few days off. Yeah. So. Is she free on the weekends or does she work on the weekends? She works every other weekend on this service. Mm -hmm. Since she's a surgical resident, it kind of depends on what she's on. Mm -hmm. So she, every other weekend, she has time on this service. Then other ones, it's just kind of random. When she, uh, when she is around, um, I mean, do you guys go out to dinner or what do you guys do? Yeah, I mean, normal. I mean. Normal couple stuff. I mean, we yeah. go out to dinner. We, um, I mean, we hang out. We've. Uh, she's actually a really big water skier. Oh. So I've actually gotten pretty big into water skiing. So we water ski. We downhill ski. Um, I'm playing rugby. So yeah, I, I saw those pictures. Yeah. Um, on those. Uh, you're a little bit slightly bigger now than when I last saw you in school. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, well, for rugby, so when I first moved out here, I was like 180 pounds, and I was playing like, it's called wing in rugby, it's like the small guy on the outside is really fast, mm -hmm. um, and then I actually tore a hamstring, Ooh. and so I wasn't nearly as fast anymore, so what I've done since then was I started lifting a lot so I could mm -hmm. get bigger, so I play now kind of more in the, more in the middle. Defense, yeah. 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 All right, well, uh, thanks so much, Grant. I really appreciate all this. Yeah. If you have any other questions, just let me know. Yeah, absolutely. It's really good to uh, see you and hear your voice. Um, if we're around this summer, are you going to be around this summer, or are you? Um, I'm going to okay. be in France uh, in August. Okay. But other than that, I'll be here for the summer. What are you doing for a job? Um... Well, right now I am um, self-employed or uh, entrepreneur. Um, okay. I, you know, I'm, I'm working on Friends of Quinn and I'm rebuilding Friends of Quinn. I have a company uh, helping me build Friends of Quinn, and um, I'm basically trying to make it, um, you know, the YouTube and Facebook for kids with an LD so they can meet other kids and parents can meet other parents of kids with special needs and, and so forth. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I'm trying to be uh, the next Mark Zuckerberg here. <laughs>
<laughs> except for except not an, an asshole that he is <laughs> but yeah. uh, anyways um, again thank you so much Grant I really appreciate it yeah I'll let you know if you need anything else I'll talk to you later alright okay. take Keep care yep bye, bye.